Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It is Monday, and today, huh, looks like the Helix is sleeping. Nah, not gonna fuck with that today anyway. Today I'm gonna show you the, uh, the speakers that I finally finished. And a super, another lucky find on my part has uh, created my new uh, listening room. That's right, people. I've been working on these speakers all weekend, on and off. Uh, I fired them up on Friday just to give them a listen. I got them up, hung up on the wall where I wanted them. They're pretty high up there. I need to pitch them because right now they're just hanging straight from the ceiling. I need to pitch them a little bit so they're pointing downward. Uh, so pitch the back part back and then attach that somehow to the, uh, I don't know, to the shelf. I'll figure something out. But. Uh, one of them was distorting a little bit and you could only really notice it on mellow types of music with like really clean guitar or clean piano and stuff like that uh the one on the left was fine and i took the one on the right down inspected it, it had some cracks in the wood and this is really an expensive end grain balsa wood that i got uh from core light uh online and you really do need to inspect the wood make sure there aren't any voids in it or any cracks in it uh all i did was open up some of the cracks, put some, uh, with a putty knife, put some uh, wood glue in them, close the whole thing back up, put it in some uh, clamps overnight, big carpentry clamps that I've got lying around from when I made my uh, coffee table and my dining room table, um, and sealed it up overnight, put it back up today, sounds incredible. Uh, I found a subwoofer by the recycling bin probably in about 2010. Uh, it sat in our little storage unit outside here. We've got a little unit outside the apartment that has a hot water heater and, and some area for storage. It sat in that thing since 2010. I pulled it out today. Oh, it was filthy. I had to vacuum the inside of it, all around it, wipe it all down. It was gross. Uh, it had things living inside the, uh, the port. Oh. And honestly, I never fired it up. Uh, plugged it in today. Sounds incredible. So now I have a, a basically a listening room in here. All I just need is a, a record player, which is coming. My birthday's coming. So the record player is coming. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the whole setup, play some bits. <laughs> Good times. Alrighty, here are the speakers in question. They are hung by uh, some monofilament uh, fishing line from some hooks. I need to pitch them uh, back a bit so that they can tilt down a little bit, but you know, otherwise they're in a pretty good spot. Uh, <laughs> the little power amp that I'm using is this tiny little sucker right here. It's just adorable. Let me get some light on it. This tiny little thing I got from uh, Parts Express from their catalog, $28. Next to nothing. It takes the signal out of the, uh, the computer and then uh, it goes down into the subwoofer and then up into uh, the power amp and then up into these speakers. So let me play a little bit with these guys and then I'll throw in the, uh, throw in the sub, give you the whole experience. Plug the sub in real quick. There we go. tunes.
tough. This sub really kicks. It's barely on. I'm sure my neighbors are thrilled. Found a nice hiding spot for the sub. There you have it, the world's cheapest listening room. Uh, less than $100 for everything. Pretty cool. Super cheap little power amp, completely free subwoofer, speakers. What more could you ask for? So, uh, we'll get this record player happening soon and then break out these albums. <gasps> Good times. I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new preset package. It's gonna be either a Brit pop, Brit rock, it's all British rock stuff. Um, and not necessarily British invasion stuff, maybe a little bit of it. I'm thinking like, you know, Dire Straits, I'm thinking uh, Paul McCartney solo, some Wings stuff, um, you know. I'm looking at the walls as if it's gonna tell me something. But I haven't thought of any, anything else. I've gotta go through my uh, my records and through my iTunes. Figure out what's going to be on it. Drop me a line if you have some requests for the uh, Brit Rock preset package. It's going to be 15 presets, $15, and I'll get a pre order link up in a day or two when there's actually something to uh, pre order. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow, and until then, rock on. <laughs>